So in order to provide bag mask ventilation to your patient with a bag valve mask, so this is your bag valve mask or ambu bag or resuscitation device, you would have a airway adjunct in situ, so that could be an oral or a nasal airway. So again, to size that, it's the angle of the mandible to the uh, maxillary incisors, inserted with the tip pointing kephalad, rotate and then sight the flange against the teeth and below the lips. With a C E grip, you would hold the mask with the C and then the E of your fingers would line up along the angle of the jaw. So C around the mask, fingers along the jaw, not the soft tissue. Your resuscitation device would be attached to a source of oxygen. The mask, place it on the nose and then seal it on the bottom of the chin. Make sure you have some nice head tilt chin lift and you want to squeeze gently, enough to make the chest go up and down every six to 10 seconds. So we don't want to be doing this, not short and fast, nice, gentle, slow breaths for the patient with the bag valve masks. So you'll notice I'm not squeezing the bag completely, okay, just enough to make the chest go up and down. Now the two hand technique, there are a couple, you can either do a CE grip with both hands and get a second person to perform the bag squeeze, or you can do what we call the vice grip, which is most of your fingers on the, the mandible and your thumbs are holding the mask onto the face. Again, this is a two-person technique because you would need someone to squeeze the bag.